Okay, so. Um, yes. So you. Shot the Okay, there's something weird about you. Mr. Honoré, pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure. Alright. So, I'm assuming you know who I am, right? You watched some of my interviews before? I have. You have? Yeah. Alright, well. Sometimes I be giving my interviewers, my interviewees a little gift. This is yours, man. Be hey. I'll give it to my assistant. Alright, alright. Alright. So, I'm assuming you know what we're here to talk about today. The WB Boys Freshman Basketball Team. All right, so y'all are 5-0 and right now. Last game you guys beat who? Beat Fairhaven. Fairhaven. Y'all have five teams on your little death list right now, right? Y'all got Old Rochester, Seekonk, Fairhaven, EV. And which one am I missing? I don't know. I don't really be worrying about the teams just taking it one game at a time. Taking it one game at a time. I heard y'all got a game tomorrow, man. That's true. Who y'all playing? Play Bourne. Born? Yo, you think you're gonna win? Yeah, I feel like we're gonna continue the streak. You think you're gonna undefeated the whole season? Yeah. yeah. So what is that? 15, 16, though? So yeah, something like that. Something like that. All right, that's great, man. That's great. I hope your winning streak continues, man. Me personally, I'm a big fan. All right, let's talk about some of the players. What player do you think is just the best overall? I say the best overall player gotta be JJ. AJ putting up 19 in the last game, right? Yeah. You feel as if his 19 won you guys the game, or? I feel like that definitely helped. It helped. All right. And then, who do you think contributes the most to the team overall? I would say, I would say Kyle. Kyle. Why you say Kyle, man? Because he got that good defense and like good he defense. got good energy. And then who do you feel hasn't contributed as much as others? Or maybe someone that will start contributing more? Or something like that. Um, nah, I, don't, I, feel like, I feel like we all do our part. All do your parts. That's great, man. That's great. All right. So, as I said, you guys are 5-0. and You guys play Born Tomorrow. I hope that when it continues, I'm going to be there, right? I'm going to be there. Yeah. Um... You've had p some pretty good performances so far, but do you feel as if you're going downhill as a player? Or do you think tomorrow, or do you think it's just was an off game? That was definitely an off game, bro. Because Sully, Sully barely put me in, bro. I'm a little salty. A little salty? Yeah. Think you're going to get more playing time tomorrow? Yeah, I feel like so. I feel like I could. I feel like you could? That's great. Anybody else you think is going to get way more playing time that hasn't been getting as much playing time as they should have? Yeah, Hector, because he's a little shooter. He's a little shooter. All right, all right. Speaking of Coach Sully, though, what do you guys think of her, like the entire team? All right, I feel like we all think that she's a good coach. Mm -hmm. Like, she knows what she's doing. What about you personally? What do you think about her? Yeah, she's a good coach. Like, mm -hmm. she makes sure that we all know what we're doing. Does she make you guys run a lot? Anything like that? Nah, that's what, that's what we expected, but it's not the case. It's not the case? All right, man. Well, it was great being able to talk to you today. I hope you have a great day. And, I'll, hey, I'll be there to see your game tomorrow, man. Who's your favorite golf player? Tiger Woods. He's all right. He, he, he up and on, you feel me? He not. I mean, nah. Who do you think is better than him? Andrew Augustine. Andrew Augustine is trash. Well, he's actually really good. Nah, I think Tiger Woods is better he than him. He won three weeks ago. Yeah, but Tiger Woods always wins. Yo, Cass, pleasure to see you, man. Pleasure to see you. What's good, bro? Last time, I haven't talked to you in mad long, man. Yeah. I like the new hairstyle. What do you call them? What you call them? Little twist. You feel me? Little twist. Little twist. Your hair's getting longer. Yeah, so, so you can dress? Nah. 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 <laughs> All right.
So have you ever seen anyone, any of my interviews before? Nah, I never really heard of you. Never heard of me? Just, your agent just got the little invite? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're here to talk about how you grew up and how you switched from Boston to West Bridgewater? Yeah. All right. So let's talk about, like, that you as a kid. Like, mm -hmm. as a kid, did you love it in Boston? It, I mean, I never knew anything else besides it. So, so you just liked it? It yeah. felt normal? Yeah. yeah. So as you, as you got older, as people do, yeah, as you got older, do you feel as if you started to not like Boston and that's why you guys moved? Or do you um, feel like it was more of a decision on your parents? Yeah, my mom definitely wanted to move because it was safer. Sure. Safer here? Yeah. Why did she feel as if it wasn't safe in Boston though? What was happening? There was just a lot of um, a lot of weird like it's like people that weren't mentally sane. Mm. Yeah. Not as many of those people here. Nah, this 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 a lot of like violence. Violence, yeah. Can't be around that violence, right? Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Yeah. All right. Um. So. Do you feel as if you like West Bridgewater more than Boston, Boston more than West Bridgewater? I feel like I like them equally because um, that's like I grow. It's like growing up in two different places, and I like different parts. Of it. All right, what so, parts do you like about Boston? I like the fact that you could like take buses and trains. There's a lot more people, mm -hmm. so I like not seeing everybody. Like when you're around here, you see everybody like at least two times a day. Yeah, in Boston, you don't see everybody two times a day. Mm. And then one of the cons of being in Boston is the violence and stuff, I'm guessing. Yeah, dangerous. And a lot of people just, like, want to start issues for no reason. Do you feel as if that's why over here is better? Yeah, because not a lot of issues really too much. Not a lot of life-threatening issues. Not, an, not a lot of life-threatening issues. Mm -hmm. So you feel as if in Boston... There was a bunch of life threatening stuff that happened there. Or? Yeah, and like you could possibly get hurt. Possibly I don't hurt. think I'm not really gonna get too hurt out here. Not gonna get hurt out here. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, do you feel like your little brother impacted the the, the, the decision at all? Yeah, because um, my mom, my mom didn't want him growing up. Like, my mom didn't really want him to grow up in that this situation. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so that was the reason why you, <laughs> that was the reason why you, yeah. How old was your brother when you guys moved? Uh, 10, maybe 11. And how old is he now? He is about to be 13 in a month in two weeks, six in weeks. In two weeks? Mm. That's what's up, man. All right, well, Cass, it was great talking to you, man. Yeah, great talking to you. Have a great day. You too, bro. See you later, bro. Safety. Maddie, today, mm -hmm. um, today we're gonna be talking about how it was like switching in between four different schools. Yeah, and living in four different areas. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> where did you first live? I was born in Whitman, and then we moved to Hanover right before I started kindergarten, and I went to Hanover Sylvester School for two years for kindergarten and first grade, and then we meant to move again into Rockland. And after Rockland? Um, well, I lived in Rockland from second grade to sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So I went there during COVID. And then after sixth grade, I went to, I moved to Sturbridge in June, which is an hour and a half away. And I went to school in, at this place, Tantasqua. But I switched like two months after the school year started. Um, 
So you came here, right? Yeah. So what was your favorite experience out of? Out of like which school? Yeah, out of which school. I think Rockland might have been my favorite, but that might just be because I bonded with everyone there more because I was there for like four or five years. What was your favorite town to live in, though? Whitman. I lived in Whitman, then I went to Rockland, but Whitman was my favorite town because they had like, we live right near like the park and Dunkin' Donuts and like the library and everything. So you lived like the middle area? Yeah. Why do you think you moved so much? I have no idea. I think we just, we haven't settled down in our own house yet. And because my mom's boyfriend, she wanted to move in with him, but that didn't work out, so we moved back out. To, okay, makes sense. So, um, yeah, I mean, so, what did you do in, um, that third town you lived in? Uh, Sturbridge? Yeah. Um, I don't know, it was, like, a very, like, there was, like, nobody around. It was all just fields. Like, where we lived, it was, like, a street, and there were a lot of houses, but as soon as you get to our house, it was literally just a, a cemetery across the street and then another cemetery right there. And the next to us was just a big open field with like a bunch of cows. Uh, all right. So there was like nothing to do. You didn't like it over there? Oh, no. Mm -mm. I hated it. It was too lonely. What, what did you, um, what do you like about West Bridgewater? I guess that it's like a smaller school, like in Rockland and everywhere else I went, there's been like at least 300 kids per grade, but here it's a lot smaller, so it's much easier. Easier to do what? Like get to know people and like there's not too much going on. Do you think you're going to stay here for the rest of high school? No, I think I'm going to switch again. Next year? Yeah. You're moving or are you just switching schools? Um, I think I'm just going to switch schools. I don't know if we're moving because we might move with my mom's husband, but I think I'm just going to switch maybe either back to Rockland or somewhere else. That sounds thorough. Um, all right, well, nice talking to you today. Me too. All right. <laughs> Pleasure to see you, man. What's up, bro? So, you know who I am, right? Nah, I don't. Oh, uh, my name's Cash. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about how you moved from Brockton, mm -hmm. schools, to so yeah. West Bridgewater schools. All right. So, first, when did you start going to Brockton? Uh, I've been going to Brockton since pre-K. What school did you go to in pre-K? Uh, Downey. Then, what about kindergarten? Downey. It's both. It's both. Oh, it's both? Eight, yeah. eight, eight, elementary, too? Elementary, yeah. Eight in middle school? Nah, middle school, I went to East. East. How long did you go to East for? I went to East for 6th and 7th grade. It's pretty thorough. You like that at East? Yeah. What's What's different about West Bridgewater and Brockton schools? In Brockton, there will be fights like every day. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the fights, kids didn't focus on school as much here. There's not as much fights. So kids are more focused on school. And yeah. Academic wise, like what school is better? Academic wise? Uh, academically, Brockton schools was ahead of uh, ahead of this school. Yeah. And um, sports. Sports, this school is definitely better. Better for opportunity. Just in general, like at East, basketball team horrible. Here, basketball team is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, you're playing basketball right now, right? Yeah. All right, all right. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so tell me about how is it like transitioning. Transitioning, I felt like it was weird, but I knew one person here, so it was. Who'd you know? I knew somebody by the name of Cash. Oh, tight. Coincidence, joke. yeah. Tight. Joke. All right. So, um, you when you came here, was there like anything like unsettling that was just like, I don't like this that about this school. Honestly, it was just how big it was. Like I didn't know where to go, but people showed me around, and yeah. They helped you out. Yeah. 
So, like, when did you, like, start to adjust? Like, how many weeks in? I felt like I started to fit in more, like, two weeks in, and then I got used to it, like, a month in. That's pretty that's pretty quick. Yeah. Fast learner? Mm-hmm. So how do you say you're doing academic-wise in this school? In this school? I'm doing good academic-wise, yeah. What about in Brockton? In Brockton, I did way better, to be honest. You did way better? Yeah. So Brock, Brockton school is better academic-wise? Academic-wise, probably, yeah. So you're doing better. You're doing better in Brockton? I felt like it was better teaching and stuff, Better too. teaching in Brockton. Yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So um, how do you think you're doing sports-wise here versus Brockton? Sports-wise? I think I'm doing pretty good here. I mean, I stopped playing football. I play football in Brockton. I may play football here next year. I don't know, but yeah. Mm. What was what was one of your favorite things about uh, tran- transferring? One of my favorite things, honestly, that this is like a more safer town, so my mom trusts me more. It's like walk around places, stuff like that. What was one thing you kind of like regret? Regret about moving. About Honestly, I think I should have stayed in Brockton and finished my middle school there, and then came here to start high school. But I mean, it's not a big regret to be honest. I, it doesn't really matter. Um. So what I'm hearing is you really like this school. Yeah. But you like this school's awesome. So which school do you like more? Honestly, I would say they're equal. I like both same amount. All right. Thanks for the information, Dylan. I nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too, man.